This is Addison Precision. We specialise in aircraft component manufacture, aircraft undercarriage components, aero engine parts, and we also do a lot of um, work for high-speed train. Our customers expect from us that we deliver parts to a schedule, on time, right first time, every time. Once we're measuring close tolerances to microns, it's very important because they're specified on the drawings uh, for the components that we're manufacturing and we started researching into getting some presetting equipment so that we'd have the capability to measure the tools built into an assembly prior to us putting them anywhere near a machine tool. Uh, the idea behind that is to check that everything's correct. Uh, we use a lot of PCD type tools which you, if, you, if you touch them with metal you can damage the part, the, the, the tool. Um, so the idea of a contactless measuring system is absolutely brilliant. I would recommend the Zola. Our experience for a bit has been flawless. We've not had any issues with anything not working on it. Uh, the power clamping at first we were sort of, is this going to work and be reliable? But it's been absolutely fine. All our guys are really happy with the, uh, the interface, the way that they communicate with the machine, the touchscreen parts of it. They're just, they're just amazed at what it's capable of doing. The beauty of the machine we've got in-house, it has a power clamping system. So when, when we bought the Zola, we spec'd that all the different types of back ends that we might need to hold, that we have the facilities to do that. It's quickly interchangeable. You don't need to mess around changing back end adapters. It just, power clamping unit drops in, you put whichever type of back end it is you want to check the tool in, and away you go. It's enabled us to uh, have more accurate detail of what we've actually set. Uh, we're measuring tool run out. So that's a very important thing when we're trying to maintain sizes on reamers uh, and boring bars and things like that. We come up with a system now where we measure the tools on the Zola, we save that to a file on the network and then that file is then downloaded direct into the machine control. So there's no manual operator input, the information that's measured on the Zola gets directly input into the machine tool control and that is a big step forward. It's, it's reassuring that you've checked everything because before with the lasers you could only check the length and the, the biggest diameter without a lot of additional programming. With the Zola um, we put together a tool card which has details of the tool assembly in its entirety so we're not only measuring the cutting tool and all the important surfaces on the cutting tool we can also measure that the um, the holder that it's in is the correct diameter and it's not likely to collide. It's got the right amount of tool reach so that it, it clears all the obstacles on the machine while it's in operation. Originally Zola came in, the, they, they installed the equipment, um, moved it into position, made sure everything was correct, calibrated it and then we got a comprehensive two-day training package. found it was very, very useful uh, and very comprehensive training. Uh, when we've asked for help, they've always been there. It's, it's just been great. We just pick the phone up or send an email and Andy or Paul will get straight back to us. And if there's no one in the office, we usually get a reply saying that someone will be back to you within a couple of hours. So it's never been an issue. Ultimately, the plan is to grow the business. So by adding additional machines, there may come a time when we'll need to purchase a second Zola. At this moment in time, because of the way we use it, it's fine. It copes with everything we can throw at it. And I was very fortunate in the fact that Alan, the owner of the business, just happened to be on site at the time when we were demonstrating the Zola. Uh, and he, he sort of looked over our shoulders at uh, what was going on. And he was so impressed with it that he phoned um, Andy's boss up and negotiated a deal to purchase the equipment. <laughs>